Hey everybody, one more video before I call this one kind of a series, if you will. A lot of people want to know, how do you do these custom backdrops like this? It's actually really easy, but it's not intuitive. So if you can't figure it out, don't feel bad. I couldn't figure it out either. I had to lean really heavily on the Steam forums, and even then it took a little bit of digging. So let me show you guys a couple things. First of all, the background itself. Uh, you have to use a background that is, let me make sure you got this right, JPEG, uh, JPG, TGA, or DDS format and almost every graphics program that you have is going to save in that, or you can find a picture, which is what I did for uh, this one over here. Uh, I have a green screen background over here. You don't need this, but, you know, it's just to kind of put a little depth in this. So, let's go to face rig itself. Now, once you get into face rig, what you want to do is choose avatar and background, which is on the tab over here. That'll open up this window, and you go to the background model, cus the background custom picture. It's going to create sort of a gray background. I don't feel like digging around right now. You then go back to this tab on this side, and you hit Background Customization. That'll open up this window, and you want to go to Background Texture, and look up Custom 2D Backdrop. It's going to ask you to load a texture. Now, here's where things get a little bit goofy, and this is what took me a while to find. The place that you want to put the JPEG, the TGA, or the DDS file has to be under a specific folder. In my case, because I have the program off of Steam, it's under my main program files, Steam, Steam Apps, uh, the Common folder, Face Rig, and then specifically it has to be in Mod, VP, PC. That's a big mouthful. So uh, you got to. Basically, you go into your Steam folder, you look for Face Rig, and you look for the mod VP PC. Once you have it in that folder, um, I created a, a folder of custom backgrounds, and that's where I saved it. Once you have it there, you can load it up as your backdrop, just like that. Now, you can also, when you, when you first put it in there, it's not going to look right at all. So you want to go to the 2D picture scale, and you want to play with the sliders until the picture is scaled correctly. Now, if you're a perfectionist, and some of you people are, you can actually probably get it to be the exact dimensions you need on the first take. If you've managed to do that, bravo, congratulations, you are better than I am. But this is the basic way to do it. So, there you go. Really simple, really easy, just not terribly intuitive yet. I understand they're working on it, but just saying. Enjoy!